Hi, this is Zach from Data Miner, and this is going to be just a quick video to walk you through how to do auto pagination with Data Miner. Um, first, I'll just show you what auto pagination is and how to actually just perform the function, and then I'll actually show you how to um, create it yourself using the actual XPath and the different um, elements of a page. All right, so let's begin. As you can see, we're on the Data Miner sandbox, which is just an example for you to practice with. Um, and to do auto pagination, you just simply go to a recipe that has um, the pagination as part of it. And most search re recipes will always have pagination because um, part of a search page is it's typically going to have multiple pages. As you can see in our example, this search results page, um, also referred to as a list page because they are in somewhat of a list format. Um, so as you can see, this search results page or list page has pagination at the bottom and pagination simply means the option to click to another page so as you can see it goes to multiple pages and this is what data miner uses to automatically click to the next page and then scrape so now that I have explained that a little let's go back to the data miner pop-up um, and we're gonna pick a sandbox search uh, recipe because that is where pagination is found and typically used and now as you can see we scraped this first page the first four individuals and now um, to do auto pagination and click to the next page all you simply have to do is press start auto pagination and as you can see down here it switched to the second page and data miner will gradually accumulate more rows meaning it will scrape more data as you can see it just did that it's on the third and last page, and when it hits the last page, it will also stop automatically. So, all right, cool. As you can see, the pagination disappeared because it hit the end, and we scraped all 12 rows. At this point, you can just press download and move on to the next step, which is typically jobs. Um, but for this video, I'm going to, just to continue focusing on pagination. Um, so now that you saw how it works, let me show you how to actually build it yourself. So let's just close that out. Um, and let's start from the very beginning. And something you'll need to do is, um, is uh, open up the Chrome Inspector. You can do that by simply right-clicking, going down to Expect, and there you go. On the right, it pops up. So um, what we need this for is to be able to see inside the Next Page buttons. Um, because there is going to be HTML and specific information that you need to get out of them. So to do that, just click on this little arrow in a box, and that kind of gives you the power to highlight and focus on things. So we're going to focus on this next button. So we're going to click it. Let's kind of make this a bit bigger so you can see. Okay, cool. So I clicked on it, and now as you can see, it's an A tag which is a type of an HTML tag, and they have a, it has a class of a nest. So this is the exact information we need. Um, so at this point, we can go up to the data miner extension, and just to show you from start to finish, I'll do create a recipe. So it's like we're starting from fresh, or starting from scratch. Um, and let's just, for example sake, let's just capture some random data. Um, just so you can see it on the page. So let's say, div. don't worry about this part right now. Okay, so let's just scrape that. And as you can see, we just have a bunch of data. So as you can tell, it's working so far. Um, you have the example search results, example search results. So it's the same page. And now to do pagination. Um, you're going to go to the auto pagination tab, click on that, and then do auto pagination settings and click on that. And now, as you can see, there is, there is an empty field, and this is where you're going to write the XPath that we just found on the, in the Chrome Inspector. So to write an XPath, there is somewhat of a format. Um, to start, it's just going to be forward slash, forward slash, and then you're going to do the tag name, so it's going to be that A. And then you're going to do open bracket or open square bracket and then do an at symbol 
and then you're going to type class and then equals the class next which is what we got from the Chrome inspector and so it's parentheses next close the square bracket and then at this point you can click out of the field and data miner will automatically kind of test to see if the field if that tag is correct so let's just click out awesome so it found an element with the tag name a which is exactly what we needed so now that we have the a and navigation type is going to be click on specific uh, element specified which is exactly what you do for this button you click on the a and it takes you to the next page and then wait time between page navigation is simply the process of just having data miner wait six seconds to make sure that the page fully loads before it scrapes this information because if it were to scrape too quickly and the page hasn't loaded all the way you might actually get a failed um, scrape so then that unfortunately obviously wouldn't be very good so six seconds is default and I think that should be good for this example so at this point you can just close it let's close that as well and at this point uh, let's go ahead and press so just so you can see let's clear this and start from fresh so now let's do start auto pagination and it should click to the next page and then scrape so let's give that a shot awesome so it clicked to the next page, scraped the first set of data. It's, it should take us now to page three. Awesome, page three. It's scraped. And soon it will hit the end. Great. So it hit the end and it's scraped its final collection of data. So obviously this is just a bunch of um, random data that we don't need to necessarily worry about, but you can see that we scraped for every page and we're now on page three and it's at the end and there's no more pagination um, because it can't find that a tag anymore because it disappeared so that's essentially what happens it's looking for that a tag but since it disappeared it um, just automatically stopped and the pagination disappeared um, disappeared itself essentially like it just went um, away it hidden it's now hidden so I believe that pretty much wraps up pagination. Um, if you have any, have any questions, definitely reach out. You can get a hold of us at support at data-miner.io. That's our email address. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. All right, well, thank you for watching and have a nice day.